Hello, welcome to the Mediocre Takes podcast, the podcast where we share our mediocre takes on the shows and movies we watch. I'm Marco and here with my co-host Mel. How are you doing, Mel? Marco, speak your mind. Um, should I talk about what we were talking about earlier? Yes, yes. Okay, okay so you guys, this is kind of embarrassing about the fact that I thought about this, but recently I've been thinking about this uh, one question, like, People will ask their significant others the question, would you still love me if I was a worm as a joke? And I was like, you know, I don't really like that question. I just I just feel like we need to be asking hard hitting questions. You know, if we're going to be in a relationship, we need to talk about serious stuff. You know, you need to make sure that this person still cares about you no matter what. So what I came up with for a hard hitting question is instead of if you still love me if I was a worm, I, I came up with the question of would you still love me if I was a furry? And that's actually uh, a really good question. Yes, it's. You know, I feel like it'll bring up a lot of discussion. A lot yeah, of soul searching. Yeah. I feel like you ha- you have to you realize a lot about yourself throughout that question, you know? Yeah. Like how judgmental are you and how much do yeah. you actually love this person? Yeah. Do I love this person enough to still care about them if they're a furry or not, you know? Do I love this person enough to introduce them to my family knowing that they have a fursuit in their closet? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. But yeah, that's just been what's on my mind recently. And for some reason, Mal want me to say that to the world. So, because you're right, because that's an actually like a thoughtful question that you really have to think about. Yeah. Anyways, today we're talking about the Amazing Digital Circus episode two. In the Amazing Digital Circus episode two, Pomni is struggling to like find out what she's gonna do while living in the Amazing Digital Circus when um she is awakened. Ragatha like tries to like make her feel welcome and stuff, but Pomni isn't having it. Then Kane comes up to the whole group and is like, uh, I'm sending you on a new adventure. Basically, you're going to this candy kingdom and you have to find the candy kingdom's stolen maple syrup. So they go on this adventure through some shenanigans. Pomni ends up being like set out of bounds with the NPC. And the NPC realizes that the NPC isn't like a real person. And Pomni is trying to figure out how to help this person. Together, they make their way out of the out of bounds area and... Pomni is trying to like make the NPC find a home with her in the digital circus. But when they get to the digital circus, Kane is like, uh oh, I can't have any NPCs here because I would get them confused with real people. So Kane kills the NPC. And that's the end of episode two. So the beginning of this episode looked really weird. Like I know it's a dream sequence, but Pomni's body looked like actual jelly and it made me uncomfortable. The NPC realizing he's an NPC is something I really liked and I really liked his character so I was pissed as fuck when he literally died in the end like it was nothing and I feel like he could have been like a really interesting character too but no we had to focus on characters like Jax instead of something actually interesting it's honestly so stupid and it pissed me off anyways the conversation between Pomni and the NPC was actually pretty sweet which just annoys me more also, Kane's excuse for why the NPC can't be in the circus is dumb as well, and it really pisses me off. Like, he's like, yeah, I can't tell the difference between NPCs and real people, um, which is why I had to kill him. Okay, so I don't like the ending of this episode. This episode ends with Pomni going to a funeral with Ragatha and the rest of the group, except for Jax. And she starts to feel like maybe she could survive in the circus and be happy. But to be honest, I felt like this kind of came out of left field. Pomni barely interacts with any of the main cast. And I feel like I want more of her getting along with the cast before she started feeling like connected to them. Like I get that maybe throughout like a funeral, like maybe your emotions like show up more and you self-reflect more around death, I guess. But like at the same time, Pomni wasn't close to the person who was abstracted. I don't know, I just feel like I needed more time with Pomni being surrounded by the characters in order for her to feel like she belongs with the cast, you know? I love the design of the alligators. They're honestly adorable. I like the scene where one of the gator gummies uh, was barely surviving and holding onto the rope and was doing like tricks off the back of the truck. I really wish we got to see more of the main cast in this episode, especially the ones we haven't seen much of yet, because I feel like by episode two, you should at least have gone to talk to most of the cast. And I feel like the one character we don't see the most out of these two episodes is the one that's basically just a bunch of shapes. Like in the first episode, I believe like her head is decapitated and she's just like somewhere randomly in the background and in this episode she isn't even in the adventure and i was honestly just annoyed at the fact that we didn't get to see any of this character at all i just feel like by episode two we should at least get a good feel for all the characters but i feel like i don't have a good feel for her yet and i really like how this episode had a more serious tone and that's it the whole first episode i thought her name was pommy 
not Pomni, which is interesting because I'm pretty sure they literally spelt out her name in big letters in the first episode, yet I still forgot her name. It's almost as if I don't care for her. Okay, once again, Bubble is my favorite character. That really long bleep over whatever they said, I hope it was criminal and I hope it targeted marginalized communities. Hey, fuck Jax for grabbing Pomni by the throat and throwing her out of a truck. Also, fuck him for being a bitch to literally everyone. I really wish someone would torture him. Anyone who genuinely likes him should seriously consider seeking therapy. And another thing, to silence the haters who know my ways, yes, I considered if I'd still hate him if he was a woman, and the answer is yes. And one last thing, I know this show is going to try and make me like him in future episodes by either showing us his tragic backstory or give him a character arc, but I'm putting my foot down and proclaiming that I will always hate this man no matter what happened to him or what he does in his future. They had two episodes to make me like him or make me see any redeeming qualities in him, and they failed. And you know what? You're so right for that. Thank you. The fudge monster sounded like Bane. <laughs> like, wait, 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 okay. I was born in the fudge. Like, <laughs> like, I don't know. He had that, he had that tone to him. So Pomni tells the crocodile she's always wanted a friend. As if Ragatha hasn't been trying to be there for her since day one. Why does Pomni hate women? Speaking of Ragatha, I hate to say this. Is she like... A lesbian? I feel like she's a lesbian. Marco, stop. <laughs> At least one of these characters have to be a lesbian, and I'm voting for Ragatha. Y'all should have seen my reaction. I literally put both of my hands <laughs> in my face. <laughs> it's because you're tired of my, like, my bullshit, but like, is she like a lesbian or something? <laughs> you know what? I am a bit tired of your, of your bullshit, but <laughs> it, it's kind of funny every time. I wouldn't be like this if we actually did get good representation. I wouldn't be headcanoning every character I like to be a lesbian. Overall, I think this is an okay second episode. I'm just really pissed off they killed off that gummy croc thing. Like, I feel like he could have been really interesting, and I just want to see more of him. And yeah, I do agree with you. It's kind of weird how Pomni is like, yeah, we can be friends. And then he just completely ignores Ragatha. Because, like, Ragatha seems to, like, forgive Pomni for, like, completely ignoring her when she was being in a bunch of pain during the first episode because she got like a little bit abstracted or something but at the same time i do understand that pomni just probably feels awkward around ragatha because of that and just feels bad but at the same time like just apologize and get over it you know but i don't feel like i'm getting the vibe that she's uh, okay i there's a little bit of uncomfortableness but i also feel like she's straight up like i don't want to be your friend ragatha mm. yeah i can definitely see that i do agree with you i don't know why Jax is here please get rid of him i'm begging you I don't know. I feel like I know they're just gonna try and make us sympathize with him, and I just don't want to. Jack's hater forever, you know? But yeah, this was okay. I just feel like we wasted our time because we got to meet this, like, pretty interesting character, and then he just dies at the end, and then the, the whole cast moves on like it was nothing, basically, because I know we're, he's gonna be barely mentioned in the next few episodes. Like, I bet that's going to happen. So yeah, I just feel like we kept in something more interesting with our time in this episode, so yeah i almost like this episode only because of the crocodile i thought his storyline was actually super interesting and they threw it all away at the end i feel like all this show has done for me so far is make me frustrated it's all probably building up to something but whatever it is it doesn't feel like it's worth watching so far especially since i don't think i'm gonna like whatever the climax is going to be and I'm just, I'm not vibing with these characters. And the characters that I do think are kind of interesting or I'd like to know more from, they don't get screen time. This sort of does feel like it's going to mainly be focusing on, well, obviously Pomni, but also for some reason, Jax keeps getting screen time and then maybe a little bit of Ragatha. But I feel like the minor characters whose names we don't even remember because they barely get screen time can be so much interesting. But I also feel like what they're going to do is they're going to get like a one-off episode with all the minor characters and that's it. Yeah, like the character with a mask that like yeah. when their mask breaks, they become really sad. That's really that's a really interesting concept, but they barely get any screen time. The only time they get screen time is when their mask breaks and they start crying like a little bitch and when they're being <laughs> made fun of, you know? I don't think it's going to happen, but I hope that they get some sort of interesting storyline. Yeah, and the, the chess piece character, 
um, I think has been there the longest out of all of the cast. So I feel like if we got more of an interesting backstory with him, because in one of the episodes, I think it's the first episode, we see like a, a picture of one of the characters who has been abstracted and it's another chess piece. So I feel like there's some backstory there and I just want more of him like in general and, and the rest of the minor characters. Yeah, but I don't think we're going to get that. And if we do get it, it's going to be some sort of one-off bullshit that probably won't even matter that much to the main storyline they're going to go with. Oh, but maybe they'll surprise us, Marco. We'll see. Anyways, you guys, that's our thoughts on the Amazing Digital Circus episode two. If you want to send us a voice message on Spotify for podcasters, there'll be a link in the description to do so below. Us Instagram and Twitter at MedTakesPod. Oh, and we also have a YouTube channel at The Mediocre Takes Podcast, so check that out too. Because recently, we've been posting Comic Book Club on there. It's called The Mediocre Monthly. Check it out. We've done Superman Smashes the Clan, Bingo Love, and Nimona, the graphic novel. And there's Anyways, so much more to come. Yeah. And the episodes are really good so far, at least in my opinion. Anyways, that's it. Goodbye.